Thank you for clicking. Thank you for coming back to support this mama right here. Of course, you know your support is not taken for granted. Lazy people everywhere. If you love me, hey, I love you. Water, 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 water. I love you. Back, 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 back. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Hey, where's my backpacker? <laughs> like, seriously. Ghana, here I come. I must come. Our girl is back on our screen. Yeah. Coco girl is back. She is not just back, she's on the move. As I'm filming this video, I'm sure she's already on air or on her way to Mzanzi for sure. Hey, we finally left Ghana. But you know, Coco Ghana, you know, we are still very much around Ghana in spirit because Coco Mama must hit Ghana. Ha! I must not be left alone now. What do you mean? Our girl is on her way to South Africa. Hey, our place. Mm? Our our place. Hmm. Coco girl announced that she will be in South Africa on Friday. Yes, she's leaving Ghana finally. She, of course, she said it that she was down with malaria. Mm -hmm. Who else is here? Have you grabbed something? I have my water, by the way. Hmm. Coco Mama is not joking. No. I have my bottle of water here. Grab your own. Open that fridge. Sharp, 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 sharp. You know how we do it. We cannot just come here and be gra, 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 and be talking. We must send something down. So Where that's Marwa's it? army. Eh? Where is the peppers? We live in Austin man. You guys should be fast too. <laughs> hey. <laughs> These people got no clue at all. I'm telling you. Before you sue someone, you have to look at that person. <laughs> Yeah. You don't sue someone that you will not get something from. Because these guys, they are not even checking these things. <laughs> You're gonna sue someone that you will end up making rich. Eh? Without this yama yama life that you guys are throwing on our faces here. You guys cannot even hide your face. You still have the audacity to come and be talking nonsense. Can they even afford to buy a lawyer? The reputable lawyer that can handle this. Ha! Anyway, while we are still waiting for the lawyers, I hope they are watching and subscribing. If you don't like Coco Mama, eh, you can watch. But if you don't like how Coco Mama talks, all her dirty talk, in between she will say one thing and one thing and one thing. Eh? Look for your cartoon network. This content, the people that have drunk. <laughs> Hey, you guys should live there. The people that are dropping this content for they know they know this. <laughs> the people that Coco Baba is 
dropping this content for they know themselves. <laughs> They're not themselves, you understand? <laughs> so, they, it's, it's their product. It, yeah, basically, it's their product. Every, you know, every product in the market, you know, it belongs to someone. You go, you pick your own product. So, allow the people that love this Coco Crazy Mama, the way she is, the way she talks, with her jargon and crazy life, just allow her to be. There are people that put me here. Do you understand? <laughs> so I allow you to be dishing it out for them. Don't come and be saying, oh, this Coco Mama, oh my goodness, what kind of a woman is this? Eh? Do you say that she's a nurse? Are you sure she's a nurse? No, she must be crazy. Ah. Huh? What kind of a patient is she taking care of? He shocked them. He shocked them. <laughs> ah, from being unemployed nurse now they are questioning what kind of a nurse is this one mm? i see you all all my people inviting me to uk us huh? you guys should wait i'm gonna shock you one day you will see me like this wow i will show face before uncle what do you mean you think i don't want all these dollars and pounds <laughs> uh, who don't like the tattoo eh? guys enough of um, coco mama on a more serious note be serious what is this Anyway, this my Friday is better than my previous Fridays. You know, Friday is the day. We, I hope you enjoyed the intro. Hey, I hope you enjoy Coco Mama dishing it out for you. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, you guys, the way you like things. Eh? <laughs> Are you shake buddy? Are you shake buddy? Hey! Are you shake buddy? <laughs> hey! I see the sweet them. You depend them. I see the bad them. You the sweet us. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys should leave me alone on a serious note. Let's get started. What is this? The Mayas are here. Hey! Well, the Maya fans came for Coco Mama. They said that I have dementia, that I have problems. My brain is sick. That I am sick in my brains. That Coco Mama, if I don't understand, I should ask so that you guys should explain. I'm here with this video, this surprise video, before Christmas, okay? Maya threw in when he presented this gift, this car, to his wife, Miss Trudy. I went back, I said, let me watch it so that I will understand. Because this video that I reacted on, that made these people to be insulting me, shout out to you, Chippy. One came during premiere and rained insult on me. Are you mad? Are you sick upstairs? Are you sick in your brain? Do you have sense at all? What kind of a jealous human being is this? Eh? Anyway, Chippy, one of our moderators, managed to block this person. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> because it doesn't make sense. If as an adult, we cannot come here and be telling ourselves the truth, then what's the need? Eh? If we cannot face the truth, we are bringing sentiments to the truth. Maya is my person. If you don't know, I've said this here, when I started this channel, it was all about Maya up, Maya down, Maya line. Some people advise Marwa, get people like Black Beauty and Modesta Lifestyle that fight for Maya. Get them to be fighting for you because Maya is paying these girls. Maya is paying these old ladies. Mm? These old ladies are on his payroll, if you guys don't know. So, if you will come here and be jabbing nonsense that I'm jealous, oh, this woman, you know Maya what? is, you can never bring Maya down. Maya has even missed through the, you are simply jealous. This is far from being jealous. What we are doing here is, we'll see it, we'll bring it on your screen and say our mind. Mrs. Maya made it very clear that, babes, can you remember how we saved money to buy a new car? This new car. She was talking about the same car. The same car that Maya presented six months ago to her. She wasn't talking about another car that maybe another dream car. Maybe they were dreaming to have Land Cruiser. No, she was not addressing another car. Because now, ID winner, shout out to you, is trying to Make it look like Coco Mama is a liar here. Oh, I'm confused. You guys should help me understand this thing. 
Maya claimed that he surprised his wife with this car. Meanwhile, his wife came back and was saying that they actually saved to buy that same car. Can you go back and listen to Mrs. Trudy? Probably you will get what is going on. She said, Maya, do you remember how we changed our mind? And we said that we must buy a new car. And we saved and we're not regretting it. She was even pointing at this car. This same car that her husband surprised her with. Guys, before I let you watch this, let's bring other backpackers on this table. Before I let you, Kisha. Hey, you guys remember Austin Holyman discarded Kisha. You wonder girl that Austin Holyman rubbished. The girl flipped back. The girl went to Mombasa to spoil herself. Hey, because remember, Austin supposed to take her on that trip to Mombasa. Hey, the girl went all by herself and spoiled herself like mad. She is on the step. Now, let's get started. Let's watch this surprise video Maya gave to his wife. And you will tell me if there's anything like them saving money and then decided to, and then he decided to surprise her with a different car. Because that's what this ID winner. Let's read this comment. Where is the lie? Trudy said she and her husband have been saving to buy a car. But why they are still on the savings? He bought the car. <laughs> hey! They were saving to buy the car. While they are still on the savings, he bought the car. Then why is it a surprise? I don't get it. Why is it a surprise? The type of big car that she had always wanted and he surprised her with it. Trudy is saying the truth. If you guys don't understand, ask for clarification. Liars everywhere. Now what? So, ID winner is saying that we are lying. That it was actually a plan like that. That they were saving to buy this car. And Maya now bought it. Then, if they were saving to buy it, then it's no longer a surprise. And why is Miss Trudy saying, Babe, you remember how we changed our mind? So, there was already a plan for the same car. So Miss Trudy knew about that car, ID winner. If Miss Trudy did not know about that car, she would not go to confirm from her husband. Babe, you remember how we decided that we must get this car? You remember how we changed our mind that we don't want second-hand car? We want this car because it's a new car. So what are you talking about? That they were saving? See how people can twist these things. You see how people can get things twisted? Anyway, let's watch the surprise because me, <laughs> I will always come here and react. Nobody will chase me away here except Whitey. If, if Whitey decided to chase me, of course I will work out. Just like the way Corobidi left Facebook to YouTube. Facebook refused to monetize her content, always flagging her content and da da da. She had to leave. She told her audience she's leaving 7 million followers on Facebook to join YouTube and she has only like let's say 500,000. Guys, it's always good to do things the right way. That's the message here. We're not trying to bring Mrs. Maya down or bring Maya down or get jealous or pick on them. After all, Maya is our person here. You understand? And reaction works like this. It mustn't be positive all the time. When you have seen something negative, you should be able to come out as an adult and say that this is this is it, this is it, this is it, this is the way it should be. Mrs. Maya shouldn't have brought, because it contradicted everything Maya did on this video that I'm about to share with you guys. It was surprise, 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 like Mrs. Maya never knew anything about getting a car at all. Like, the way where the Maya did this video, it's as if Mrs. Maya never knew that there would be any kind of, any trace of getting a car. And even the same truth was like, wow, wow, I didn't see this coming. Oh my goodness. Did, tell me if you are pranking. Tell me if you have borrowed this car to prank me. If they were serving to get a big car, a new car, she wouldn't be surprised. She would be like, oh, so finally you decided to make this thing fast, fast for us. 
the story would have been different. Right? Let's watch them. I've planned everything. She has no idea that I bought a car today. Babe, thank you so much. I can't believe this. Oh my god, hold my hand back for me. Yeah. Oh my god, my sunglasses. Babe. I planned everything. She got no idea that I bought this car. A surprise, right? Then why is Mrs. Maya saying, do you remember how we saved to buy this car? Do you remember how we saved? We insisted, we saved up our money to buy this car. Am I hearing double? ID winner. <laughs> you better go back to Mrs. Maya's video and hear to yourself. Because I don't want to bring it back here. Do you remember how we saved to buy this car? Let me even see if I can play it. I think I still have the video here. Yes. Initially, we were supposed to get a low car that was second hand. But we decided to just save up our money and buy this car. This car was pretty expensive. It was 6 million Kenya shillings, but it was so worth it. Initially, we were like, why invest so much money in just a car? But then at the end, guys, it's worth it. You can come to places like this, farms. You know, and, and and your car doesn't have issues, you know, you don't have issues of, you You know, sometimes you're told to stand so that some people should get out of the car because the car is so low. Um, not this car. This car you go anywhere. Babes. Uh, uh, today, uh, today. I'm telling these people, mm. you remember initially you were supposed to buy a second-hand car, yeah. but then we didn't buy it and you don't regret buying this one because you remember how sometimes when you're traveling, especially in Uganda, yeah. you told come out of the car because the car is too low. What you remember? We should come out of the oh, car yeah, yeah, so that the car can yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh. with this one, it's, it was worth a good investment. Right. Do you remember how we saved? We insisted and we saved to buy this same car. Eh? What are you guys trying to tell me? You guys should stop this. You guys should stop bringing sentiments to these things. Nobody is above mistake. Udemaya is a big brand. His wife supposed to be careful and watch what she puts out here. Watch what she says. Don't come and contradict the content that you guys have already done and you have made money. And okay, people watched it and enjoyed it. Guys, as I'm talking to you now, that video is hitting 1 million. It's about 500k views. This particular surprise video. So what are you guys telling me? Mrs. Maya knew about this. 100%. For her to say this, she knew about it. She They saved for it. And they wanted to play it out there because, like I said, I'm not trying to shame them or anything, but, but how would she even forget that this is how they play this? How can she forget? I mean, the video of six months. How can she forget so soon? Six months ago video. She has already forgotten that her husband claimed that it was a surprise. It's too soon. You understand? You guys played it. Then she shouldn't have come out to come and be saying, oh, this is the best decision we have taken to save and buy this car. To buy a brand new car we insisted baby you do you remember how we insisted and you're gonna tell me that after she said all this you were telling me that maya surprised her they were talking about the same car we are not babies here mrs maya was talking about the same car that with the maya claimed that he surprised her with and it was not necessary this is what we call information overload. Whether she wanted to now come out with the truth that she actually contributed, we don't know. You understand? Whether she did it deliberately, whether it was a mistake, we don't know. But she needs to watch these things because it can kill someone's brand. And then people feel they can come and insult me. I'm jealous of Wedemaya. Why should I be jealous of Wedemaya? The same Wedemaya that I've received tons of insults because of Wedemaya then I must be jealous of him. It is what it is. For me, I'll stick to my Ubers and boats. And from now onwards, this is your car. You can take it to wherever you want to go to, wherever you want to go in Ghana. And I know that you are welcome to your new home. And your new home, you need to explore it, right? So making sure that you explore your new home, I feel like you deserve something better. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! When I met Maya, he was just a hustler. He didn't have anything. But through the years, he's been able to do so much for his family, for us, for everyone. Um, yes. So when you meet a boy out there, don't judge him because of where he is at the moment. Think of where he could be in future. Hey. That's what I want to say. <laughs> so thank you, babes. Come, 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 come. You're not a relationship advisor. <laughs> I'm just saying. I personally don't need a car. I feel like on this day, you know what? Why not just get a brand new car, man? Just to walk out there to Ghana, yeah? I, I know, I'm so sorry. See, I, I met. Babe, I've not eaten. I've been waiting for the breakfast. Then you go and eat. Are you for real? <laughs> it's Christmas. Babe, are you serious? Merry, Merry Christmas. Oh my God. I woke up this morning and I saw the Maya surprised his wife with a brand new car. Not Tokumbo. This is not Tokumbo, brand new, like tier, what we call tier rubber here in Nigeria. You can see the plastic and everything. Hey! I say with the Maya, you don't finish me. Of course, you know I will talk. <laughs> Guys, I was thinking that I was going to post a vlog, you know, like this village vlog. Probably when we have finished cooking, because I want to really cook with firewood. I want to fill the village. And let the village feel me. Okay, Wodemaya well, is a selfless human being. That's why I always talk about him. That guy is too much. He doesn't have a car. I, all this while, I've always thought that Wodemaya well, owns a car. No, Wodemaya well, said that he doesn't own any car. First car he bought, he bought for his mom. Second car he bought when his sister got married. Now he's buying a brand new car for his wife and it was a surprise and i love miss trudy's reaction miss trudy could not believe it miss trudy kept saying babe babe tell me this is a prank tell me that you borrowed a car to prank me like she couldn't believe it that this is real a brand new car big cow hey oh more you deserve it miss trudy is humble with the maya there's something that is also a highlight to me. But the man was saying that, can you guys see that Miss Trudy has never, like, Miss Trudy has never requested for anything when they were dating four years ago, they've known each other. So what is the lesson here? Stick around someone you love. Don't look at the person's bank account. Don't look at the person's condition. Don't look at, oh, the person is sitting in one room, doesn't own anything. No, don't judge people that way. Because you never can tell, you know, what will happen. You might marry someone because the person is rich. Tomorrow, boom, the person will have financial problem. Back to square one. So what are you going to do? Definitely that marriage or relationship will not work because it's built on fantasy. But when you marry someone you love, you support that person. Aye, the breeze. The breeze is too much, guys. Hey, it's like this because village is full of trees. Trees, trees, trees everywhere. Let me see if I can show you guys. You see? See what is going on here. Miss Trudy sticked around. And Maya said that she has never requested for anything. Oh, give me money. I want to buy bone straight week. Oh, give me money. You know some women, guys. Oh, I want to. Oh, my cream is 150k. I want to go to Dubai. Ah, you, are, you must take me to Bahamas. Haba. Do this for me. Oh, you haven't done this for me. If you cannot take care of me, then why are you with me? Da, 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 da. So this was the surprise video what Maya gave to his wife before Christmas, okay? And you can tell that, obviously, obviously, they planned it like that. And it worked for them. They made their money. You understand? Hey, everybody was like, wow, 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 a way to go.
you appreciate your mom, you appreciate your sister, you appreciate your wife at the same time. You have gone through a lot with her jumping into taxis, jumping into Oba, jumping into Boda Boda, jumping into Okada Keke, everything, everything and everything. So she deserves to have a brand new car. It worked out. Now, tell me why Mrs. Maya will come back now and start pointing at the same car. Or maybe there's another car. Are you guys now trying? I be winner. Are you guys with the other guy that insulted me during our premiere? Eh? You feel that I am sick. You are actually the one that is sick. You are actually the one that don't want to face the reality. You are the one bringing emotion to this. You cannot let your husband down like this. After he gave you a surprise that he bought a car for you, you were not aware of it. Like Mrs. Meyer was not aware that this car was coming. You know, he even forced her to get ready and he picked her up, held her like this until the car came and everything. And Miss Smile was saying, oh, this means a lot to me. Oh, I didn't know that. Six months later, this same person is coming out to say, oh, do you remember how we saved to buy this car? We insisted in buying a brand new car. The same car? Or is it different? Probably they're talking about another car. Because from what these guys are trying to say now, they are trying to act like, oh, they were saving. And then Maya decided to buy another type of car. And not the same one that they were saving for. He decided to go out of uh, their plans. He decided to go out of their plan to get a brand new car for Mrs. Maya. That's the picture that they are trying to give us, which is not true. This is not what Mrs. Maya was talking about. Mrs. Maya was talking about the same car that they saved to buy this same car. It's the same and this happened six months ago. And they planned it because six M, six million Kenyan shillings is not moi moi. So she made it very, very clear that, that they planned before they bought this car. And they are not regretting it because, of course, it's a brand new car. It's not giving them any problem. We got the message there, but again, how can she forget so soon, guys? How can she forget? And why are you guys bringing emotions into this? Why are you guys bringing insults to this? Bringing uh, tantrum to this? Feeling like, oh, I want to expose them. I want to comfort. You guys should remember, this is a reaction channel. It doesn't matter, really. It doesn't matter who has done something positive, negative. We will still come here and talk about it. Whether it's our person. Like I said, nobody supports Wodemaya like I did. Nobody supports Wodemaya like me and Black Beauty here. In this reaction business, yes. So does it mean that when something is not right, we must... Everything Wodemaya is doing is here. Wodemaya is not a perfect human being, just like me and you. Guys, you remember this video? I said it very clear that I'm not doing this to come and act like I'm innocent. Something like this, if I'm doing a couple thing here, it can happen to me because people copy these things and they do this for business. But whatever that, because <laughs> I always tell you guys that we're in a movie theater here. Whatever you have played out here, don't come and contradict it. Don't come and also spoil business for yourself or bring bad market to your husband. Don't do that. Always remember that, okay, we played it like this, that it was a surprise. He surprised me. He bought a brand new car for me because he appreciates me. He loves me. He feels that I've been there for him. Like what the man was saying that actually Mrs. Maya supported when he bought a car for his sister. You know, he has bought a car for his mom. He bought for his sister. Now it's time to buy Mrs. Maya. They played it all along like that. And now, guys, these people, they don't understand how these things work, honestly. You know, a slightest thing, smallest thing can destroy someone here. You guys don't know. I think uh, Coco Mama is after them. Until, before you know it, hey, it will be everywhere and everywhere. Let's move to Kisha. Kisha is the Rwanda girl that was the holy man, passport brother, hey, from US. <laughs> This passport brother flew her in to Nairobi to collect money from all these donators, okay? He claimed that they were going to Mombasa together. What happened in between, we don't know. 
some reactors from US, they are claiming that actually Kisa walked away and left Austin, right? Now, me, what I'm saying is Kisha did not walk away. Actually, Austin is the one that discarded her because, of course, he has used her to collect all this fun and he decided to go alone to Mombasa. So this girl, how it happened, we don't know. Of course, maybe she got someone in Nairobi. She has family. Because there's this other Nigerian guy that we spotted her with. She was making joke and calling this guy Yahoo boy. Kisha, you better watch it. Because I know very, very well that you know the meaning of hey, Yahoo boy. Every Nigerian man is not a Yahoo boy. Let me just put it out there. Maybe you were joking or something. Because I don't understand why she put it like that. Oh, Yahoo boy. Oh, Yahoo boy came through for me. Something like that. I'm not saying that it was the Nigerian guy that sponsored her trip to Mombasa. How baby girl did it, I don't know. But I'm happy that she's moving on and she's looking. This girl is so beautiful. I think she has contested for Miss Rwanda. There's another video of her I saw. But obviously this video was done in their local language. So there's no point in me bringing it here. But, but she looked way fuller and thicker then. I think she has lost some weight now. Watch the baby girls, she has moved on, you know? <laughs> you can tell who is happy here and who is frustrated and miserable. This girl obviously is happy because now she's on YouTube and she's doing her own thing. People are already like giving her support, massive support. Like Some dudes are already showing interest and asking her, are you single? We're happy for you that you walked away from this toxic guy and da da da. Let's watch her guys. Oh my god, it's a mess. But I look good. I'm about to go to the beach. Guys, there's so many people on the beach hustling. If you don't know how to say no, you're really gonna spend a lot of money. But I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. A dog. Before I go to the beach because I am hungry, my stomach is growling and oh my god, I was right about the, the storm, it turns out it's not the smoke, I feel like it's gonna rain, but so good. Very beautiful young girl and people gonna run their mouth and be calling her forehead five head six head of course she didn't share who sponsored this trip but obviously the first thing she did she unfollowed this guy from IG they are no longer following each other and probably somebody reached out and be like you know what this guy cannot just discard you like this I'm gonna make this happen Again, there's something else she said. She said that she's gonna do Q and A. She's on YouTube, Keisha. She has only two videos that she has dropped. One with, of course, Austin, and this particular one that I reacted on. We are happy that she's moving on, like she has dusted herself and she's moving ahead, ahead. 
who got time for toxic relationship especially with a passport brother eh someone you can tell like this girl i'm happy that she's aware that this dude is actually using her for content and i'm very very sure that she has seen so many other girls i'm very very sure she has seen so many other girls on austin's channel that austin has been taking advantage of and she's happy that's why she could say this to someone someone dropped a comment for her and said kisha did you leave him or what happened with that she said lol will do story time and the person replied back and said you didn't answer my question there she wants to do it as a story type so she has answered your question you wait on she's ready because she still needs to heal this girl has gone through a lot with austin this girl really 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 austin has insulted this girl remember their viral video short viral video this girl was like oh i'm gonna call you oh and austin was like i'm not gonna call you hey i'm not gonna call i hope kisha will come out and expose the hell out of this guy i hope like i can't even wait guys i'm expecting her to come out like woto woto and put everything out because this guy doesn't even deserve to be spared like seriously let's round up with coco girl our girl is back like she never left after she took three two weeks break hey most of you guys here coco mama where's coco girl coco drama is back and she's happy she has recovered from malaria of course she said that she didn't share everything that happened what really happened and what made her not to be posting for more than two weeks we don't know but she's back on our screen and she's moving to south africa but there's something else with coco girl coco girl loves rasta men not just that anything rasta to hang around rasta community this is what she loves to do and there's again you guys remember when they arrived in ghana they went to this ghetto community so coco girl went back again to that community with fabi Fabi is the Rasta boyfriend of her. Ironically, they were both sick at the same time and they both look like they have lost some weight. Hey, I don't know if this weight lost or whatever. If it's if it has to do with too much enjoyment. Me, I don't know. You guys should leave me alone. If you know, drop it in the comment section. Me, I don't know anything. Anyway, before I let you guys see the clip. Coco girl said that she will be on her way to South Africa. So she's finally leaving Ghana to Southern Africa. Coco girl did not make it to Amsterdam. Could there be something that we don't know? Could there be more to that? Why didn't she make it to Europe as she planned? Oh, really, really because of malaria. And Coco girl, you need a hand sanitizer. Hey, Coco girl did a whole lot of touching, 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 touching. All these Rasta men, handshaking and everything. She constantly was touching people, touching their hair, touching, sh shaking their hands, which is good. I love this spirit that Coco Girl has, you know, spirit of mingling. I think this is where we are similar, kinda, kinda. I would do the same thing like to total stranger. Oh, having a whole conversation, touching and touching, and hugging, trying out so many stuff. I am like that, but. Coco girl, if you find yourself in a place where you cannot, you know, wash your hand freely, there's no facility like that. Mm? You need a hand sanitizer, a pocket one. It comes very handy like that. Because after she finished doing shaking, shaking, shaking of hands, she was also rubbing it on her nose. It's very, very easy to get sick like that. Especially if you are somewhere where you cannot constantly, you know, do hand washing. If you get what I mean. If you cannot do hand washing, at least you should have a hand rub. Hand sanitizer or hand... Hand washing actually is the best. Hand washing is actually more effective and advisable. Because hand rub, you are using this sanitizer to kill some germs. But you are not really, really... Repeating. Hand washing actually is more effective. When you go to a tap, you know, running water, wash, wash your hands very well with soap. It's actually more effective but alternatively if you don't have that facility whereby you can wash your hands with the running water you can do hand rub 
use hand sanitizer and rub. And there's a technique again for hand sanitizing. That's why hand washing is more effective. Hand sanitizing, you have to go like going between your fingers, go at the tip of your nails, take your time really and rub it in to get to those germs and you are good to go so coco girl since she's a social animal like coco mama like me i'm also a social animal like that mm. if you are in a place and you know that it's not easy for you to find somewhere to wash your hands why must you be touching touching everything like you can talk you can laugh you can mingle and do all that without too much touching if you get what i mean now let's watch her before we call it again yes that community that Coco Girl went to when they arrived in Ghana, mm, she went back there again with Fabu. Mm, this Fabu guy, Coco Girl, I'm very, very sure that she's going to miss this Fabu guy. I can tell that she had a fantastic, like what I mean, fantastic. <laughs> Coco Girl was complaining that this ghetto area that she went back to, that some ladies there were smoking and doing all that. Or like in urban area urban area they do it as well they don't do it the way they do it in ghetto area where they are free with it people do behind closed doors people freaking guys <laughs> statistics shows that ladies actually do this stuff more than the men but you know men they do it socially like open in the beer parlor shiban relaxing you know hiding ladies they freaking do it behind the closed doors you guys don't know mm -hmm. honestly it's just like when when it comes to cheating you know most people believe that men are the one women cheat more than men but women are smart they are smart cheaters unlike men men you can easily catch a man even just by him trying to cover up you just looking at his just looking at his expression by men looking at him alone you will know that this dude did some corner corner it. Guys, before we watch Coco Girl and call it a day, someone dropped a comment and was like, damn, Mayoguno is playing really with so many ladies. You know, this ladies that he's hiding now is actually not the same lady that we have seen him with on IG. Hey, people are very smart here. Mayoguno thinks that uh, we are stupid. Oh, all this content that he's dishing, that people are not reading in between the lines. People are not putting dots together. This precious might not even be his daughter. This might be his sister's daughter. These guys, these guys, they can do an undo for Whitey. They can do an undo for views. They can do anything so long as these donators are pumping the money. Money must be raining constantly. The moment that it stop raining, they will come again and activate it like giddy, 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 giddy. and that's why they feel that we are their problem because they know we we'll always come here and catch them guys let's watch coco again because coco mama own is becoming too much what is this it's friday i don't want i don't want i want to do other stuff what is it? you guys should give me a break you guys should leave me alone what is this eh hey but how can i leave you guys i'm so addicted like i'm freaking addicted to this white <laughs> what is this Let's watch Coco Girl before we call it a day. Coco? No, this one is Coco and Tia Boutier. What? Coco and Tia Boutier. <laughs> what is these names, guys? I'm coming after you. Hey, brother. Nice to meet you. I'm coming. Hey. How are you, brother? Nice to meet you. This is for my YouTube channel. It's OK? I'm a YouTuber. Guys, look at that. So talent. You paint? Yeah, I do paint. Hey, wow. This is yours. Wow, brother. Look at that. So if I will not, if I, if I will not be a like nomad, a, a digital nomad travel, for sure I was by a uh, Rasta man. Look at that. We have your car, we have motorbike. <laughs> we have so many things. Brother, let me, I, I, I need to make sure that you put lion. Okay. 2002. Yes. So, ooh. So we have, we have mm -hmm. a long time. Long time, last time. Right. But it's, it's different. Like yeah. You have different. Show, show us your. It's for you. It's for one woman. I don't want money. Let's do it. 
We are going to greet another one. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. Nigerian women, they are very powerful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very powerful. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Three o'clock afternoon, and I didn't eat nothing until now. We have here just rice, spices, and beans. And this combination, it's it's very simple combination, but it's so delicious. I eat. Usually, I eat it with my hand, you know. Mm -hmm. But when when I'm in the ghetto place, I don't have some place to wash my hand. Oh, yeah. I don't want to eat like that. But you, but, uh, when they don't have uh, water, you don't go to the school. Yeah. Wow. That was a nice time that Coco Girl tried to catch up, you know, before she leaves to South Africa. We can't even wait to see what she will give to us. Coco Girl, mm. you know what? You know Coco. You know where Coco Girl is going to. You guys should tell me in the comment section. Drop it with the water and tell me where Coco Girl will be heading to in South Africa for sure. Get to. Coco Girl must go to Soweto. Hey! Coco Girl must go to informal settings. For sure, for sure. The Coco Girl will be heading to ghetto area in South Africa. Mzanzi for sure. Hey! I'm getting excited, honestly. I'm sure she's gonna bring back a lot of good memories. Mm, mm. It's been a long time I left South Africa. Like, I can't even wait to visit south africa again then there's another thing guys <laughs> you remember when coco girl arrived in this ghetto area apart from this boy that she just met now and she's claiming that this boy advised you know coco girl whenever you see her doing something there's a reason behind it someone gave coco girl either 50 pounds or 50 dollars i'm not sure but one of her audience gave coco girl money for that girl that was sick with malaria Coco Girl did not show on camera. Coco Girl did not talk about it. Whether she has given that money to the girl. And this is wrong. Now she's leaving today, which is Friday. So I don't understand what is going on here. The picture that Coco Girl is trying to paint here now is that this guy saw her, advise her, this little boy advise her, don't give them money, buy food for them. Hey! Don't give them money doesn't mean if somebody has given you money to give them, you must buy food for them. No, Coco Girl is wrong. That money is not money for food. That money will go a long way for them. Don't give them money. This boy probably said that to you to make you feel good. Yes, we we'll always say that. Don't give money to the children because they might use it to buy wrong stuff. They might use it to buy sugary stuff. There's always this saying that you don't give children money because they will end up buying sweet stuff like chewing gum, bubble gum, sweets, candies, you know? Rather, you buy food for them, at least you are sure they are getting good nutrients, that they will eat good stuff. It's like that. But it doesn't mean that if somebody has given you money specifically for a child, you are not even giving your audience updates. You are not being transparent, Coco Girl. I know you have been sick. But at least now that you are back to this community, Wallahi, I expected Coco Girl to go back to that girl, that particular girl, not this one now. Okay, this is th there's another one, a girl that someone gifted money. Coco Girl is supposed to give us an update because she told us that she would tell her that someone gave her money. That was the last time she spoke about that because you know Coco Girl is our niche, guys. You can't tell me anything. Mm -hmm. She's our person here. So I've been following her and I didn't get any update with regards to that money a subscriber gave for that girl. And it's not right. Coco girl, now as we're talking, you'll be leaving Ghana. And still, we're not sure whether you have given the money to this girl. And you cannot do this thing off camera. It shouldn't be like that. Remember, you are a vlogger. You are vlogging everything and everything. So you should also show that part rather than just taking advantage of our children. Because when you are filming them, actually you are using them for content and you are making money for yourself. So imagine you are causing double damage here to our children. It's not right. Now she's coming up with a story that this boy told her, don't give the children money. Buy food for them. What kind of cock and bull story is that one? All right, guys, if you watch to this moment, you know who you are, you are the best. 
You are the bestest. Without you guys, like, <laughs> hey, it's impossible. It's impossible. We can't run this show alone. But because of you guys, as we're coming, we're going, we're coming. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, people, everyone. You guys are too much. I salute all of you guys. Eh? The keyboard reactors, the background reactors. Mm -hmm. Hey, the secret viewers. You think Coco Mama is not seeing? Your impact is showing everywhere. Kuru, kuru, kuru. You guys are too much. Thank you for all you do for Coco Mama. Yes. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments, your criticism, eh? even insulting me. Oh, are you sick? Are you intelligent at all? Are you a bum? Eh? Go to the gym instead of sitting here and be getting jealous of other people. Yeah, thank you for all that. I hear you guys. Mm. I am here for it. I am here for everything and everything. Mm. I'm happy that it's coming from Wodemaya fans too. Not just I am Marawa. <laughs> because when Wodemaya fans come for Coco Mama like this, it they sweep me somehow. <laughs> hey, because then Marawa Ami will understand that mm, this Coco Mama can also go hard on her own person. Mm -hmm. It works like that. This is why we call it reaction. You bring action, we react. Especially you bring the one that you're not supposed to bring here. If you are not calculative, if you don't have filter to know that, oh, this one, if you bring it, it's going to be controversial. It's going to make these women to come here and run their mouth. If you are not taking note of all those things. Me, I will not take note of me opening my big eyes here and be talking about it. It is what it is. It's called what? Bars boost. You give it to me? Hey! I give it to you, Rapal, chapter 1, verse 1. That's what it says. You guys should leave me alone. I'll see you. Don't forget to like this video. Yes. Like it. Bring someone to the table. Yes. Introduce someone to the channel. Let's get this ministry running. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in my another with the Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys. I go still catch you. Me, Dada. Like that, she my brother. We gon' live forever. Money island to the mainland.